Hey, it's Viralink here, and today we're going to be talking about the seven best App Lab apps. Number one, Gym Class. In Gym Class, jump into an NBA regulation sized gym from the comfort of your home. Play hoops online with up to eight others, or practice your shooting, passing, and dunking. When playing Gym Class, you start to realize that this game is definitely going to be amazing uh, when it's fully updated and all the bugs are fixed out of it. As of right now, uh, there still are some bugs, but it is still really fun and it does look very promising. The one thing I do really want for this game is a way to dribble. Like, it's really hard to dribble in this game and you don't really see many people doing it just because there's no point. Uh, but other than that, this game is pretty good. Number two, find my iPhone app in VR. Find my iPhone app the game is basically a short story driven exploration comedy. Your phone is missing and you basically have to find your phone. Hello, thank you for using Find My Phone, the number one highest rated tablet app on the tablet store. We are now searching for your device. We've located your phone. We've determined that your phone is definitely within a 50 kilometer radius of your current location. Thankfully, you've got the Find My iPhone app on your tablet. So you just go through uh, the environments and uh, scan. Hey, a cardboard box. Maybe your phone's inside? No, probably not. Till you uh, get enough clues to actually find your phone. Uh, the ending is actually really funny. And it was a quick little interactive uh, game that I really enjoyed. The game can be pretty glitchy sometimes, but overall, it's a pretty cool game. Number three, Artgate. Artgate is an art market in virtual reality. Exhibitors from North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia and Australia actively curate and host social art events in Artgate. You can visit each exhibit by simply walking or using your menu. Another great thing about this app is that you can actually meet other people while looking at art. I got a chance encounter with a curator and that was just really, really cool to me. She was telling me that if you are interested, you can get your art uh, shown here as well. So definitely check this out. It's really cool. One thing I do have to say about this app is that it does have one really big glitch. Uh, sometimes when you are moving uh, to different exhibits, it might completely freeze and you might have to just completely restart the app. Um, but other than that, I really like this app and it was a cool experience. Number four, <laughs> Blobby Tennis. In Blobby Tennis, you are standing in a relaxing beach scene controlling a tennis racket and ball. You can do tricks, play the ball back and forth over the net with Blobby, or outplay him to score points. Now, at first, when I downloaded Blobby Tennis, I honestly really didn't like it, but as I started actually playing more, I really grew to love it. Uh, there is a huge learning curve, but once you get past it, it's super fun. The controls are pretty easy to pick up, and you can actually switch hands by just pressing the A button. So it was really, really fun. And I could also see a future where it's like a super intense sport 
and people are playing each other and they're switching hands as the ball comes toward the left hand or the right hand. Uh, so this was a great experience and I absolutely love uh, playing this game. Number five, Gun Raiders. Gun Raiders is basically a competitive shooter in VR. Uh, it's almost like a war zone in a way, or better yet, Apex Legends, in the sense where you can ping uh, where you want to go or where you want your uh, teammates to go. Uh, it's actually really well thought out, and there's not really many glitches at all. When I was playing, I was playing the control game mode. Uh, that was basically like an all out capture the flag and that was really, really fun. The tutorial was very helpful and super easy to understand. So far from what I've played, there are not a lot of major glitches. Number six. Black Hole Pool. In Black Hole Pool, you just play pool. The physics are really good. And right now you can't really play with anyone else, but you can play with yourself and learn how the controls work and the physics work. So apparently the way the balls are set up were an actual game itself. When recording this, I didn't really know. So I was just hitting the balls and playing myself. The controllers are very easy to master and the instructions are always posted in the game. So far from what I have seen, uh, there is only one glitch in this game. And that is if you press the universal menu, then I get out of the universal menu, you'll be stuck in the middle of the pool table. So the only way I know how to get out of this glitch is if uh, you actually physically walk out of the pool table and then you should be fine. Number seven, Battle Arena VR. Battle Arena is a multiplayer arena shooter where you are automatically matched with opponents. Battle Arena, at first, may look like any other VR shooter, but you do get a cool Spider-Man grappling mechanic that's really, really fun. Uh, so I don't know if I'm just really slow, but the tutorial in this game really did not help me a lot, and it was only through playing the game that I realized how everything worked. When I first booted up Battle Arena uh, and I went in the game, the frame rate was really, really bad. And I just ended up exiting it out. And then once I went back in at a different time, it was really fun and it was a really cool experience. But that is the only type of glitch, I guess I would say, that might happen in Battle Arena VR. And now for some bonuses. But first, please like, subscribe, and comment below. So the reason why these apps are not on the main list is because I did cover them in a past video. I'm not going to fully review these games because I already did, but I will share a little bit about each game. War Yards is a 1v1 multiplayer shooter that approaches bullet time combat in a whole new way. The game utilizes a unique set of mechanics that allow each player to control the speed of their opponent's projectiles. The bullet time mode can be activated at any time, but while active it restricts the player to room scale movement only and removes their ability to reload. In Gorilla Tag, run, climb, and jump in VR using a unique locomotion method that only needs the movement of your hands and arms. Push off surfaces to jump and squeeze them with both hands to climb. The game mode is a simple tag for up to three players, or an effective mode, with four or more. Run from the infected gorillas or outmaneuver the survivors to catch them. And parkour up trees and cliffs. Zoe is the only app in the bonus category that I have not reviewed on a separate video. I'm only giving this a small review because it's a pretty straightforward app, 
but I still would like to let you guys know about it because it is pretty cool. Zoe is a learning platform letting you design, visually program, and play your own interactive experiences within your headset. When you first get into the game, if you're like me, you're not going to know anything of what to do. But if you just mess around, you can basically learn how the game works in maybe 10, 15, or 20 minutes or so.